Hello everybody and welcome back to the Burgundians campaign in Attila Total War. My name is Ben Pope. We're looking at where we left off, the desolate land of Duma, Duna, sorry. And we had a fight with the last of the Rugian forces and we, we kind of, you know, got our butts kicked a little bit because we didn't expect the AI to be so aggressive. Um, so, uh, we lost Ibor, healer of Godan, in that in that fight, so I'm I'm gonna, you know, pay my respects and go to the name of this. I didn't really like the storm storm of blood anyway, and we're gonna change the storm of Ebor. Just to, just to pay respects for the old hero of Godan himself. So uh, he will forever be in our memory, and I think. Our armies can um, sit for a bit here, but there's not much we can do right away. Uh, this land has gemstones, so I do want to take it over. It would cost quite a bit of money, so um, I technically don't really need, don't really want to start a war with anyone that's around because I'm training with all of them except for the Venetians. And these guys are improving. That um, is not you know, whatever they like to talk. But I'm um, I'm thinking of a um, naval expedition out to Britain and Gaul. You know, see if we can make more friends to trade with to to fuel our uh, economy. One thing that was suggested in um, the comments in one of the episodes was to start a war with the Saxons because they took out our, our friends, the Danes. I could do that. Um, as soon as I have a, a good force at home to defend with and one to take to go and attack um, them here at Hafen. What I could do also is bring back the Danes. Once, once we attack the Saxons, I could say, "Hey, you know, uh, liberate this and bring the Danes back." So I could definitely do that. It's it's in the plan. It's in the works. Um, so once I do that, I'll have to yeah, make sure I I defend here. And if I liberate them, that's fine because then I could use the same force. Um, Twenty five hundred to. Upgrade some of our units, which would be nice. Uh, we don't quite have 2500, so we can do recruitment cost or siege. We can also do wealth from commercial buildings and uh, new trade depots and things. This is for industry, and this is for, f well, yeah, culture. Commercial culture. Did I say commercial when I look at this? I probably said something else. Um, I think we need to make more wealth from whatever we can get. So let's see which we have a uh, farm there, sanitation. I guess that's culture. This is industry. And then we have more industry. So like an industry one. Sorry about that. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. An industry one would be good. That's culture. This is industry. 5%. Good. Let's do that. And then once we have enough, we'll um, upgrade this to upgrade and improve our armies. Right. So not much we can do with these guys. Except we, we will move our navy. And we're going to double time it to here. And we're going to take this um, Germanic Marauder boat with us. So we have enough for a small expedition. Uh, the main point of the expedition is to just sort of, you know, meet new nations and hopefully trade with them. 
uh, if there's somebody weak and willing to, you know, give themselves up <laughs> for our cause, we will take them over um, and sort of build like a little colony somewhere, hopefully, uh, which will help us in the long run, of course. Yay! Um, as an overall, I should add to the to it that as an overall uh, objective, I want to go westward with the campaign. Oh, we invited the Thuringians at our feast. Apparently, neighbors from around your lands arrive to the feast. Some wary, others excited at the opportunity to improve relations. So one nation had improved their relations with us. And are we... They're over here, so that's good. Maybe... Uh, Uncle Bards. I was gonna say, maybe they're like fighting... Fighting Illyria. I doubt they would be like, Ooh, sure, we'll join your confederation. What an honor you Not quite. Okay, let's go here. We'll move you to there to give this up. Then we will put you back in Rugen. And we will continue that. Nice. Okay, you guys uh, can probably... Um, doesn't really do anything there, so we're gonna have to go back into the water. We don't want to really an uh, do another um, trespassing maneuver. So, even in the water, they're like, "Sure, we're we're doing this." Okay, you double time it. No. <laughs> they're um replenishing even in the water. That's good. Okay. So we have to go back to replenish. Um go back by go to Skaza and then hopefully uh just bring one army alone here for when we can take over that land. Which from what I had experienced previously, it can cost up to about 10,000 So we definitely need to um, Do something that will improve our money I think I'm I think I'm trading with everyone that I can um, That's what happens when I pause for a couple of days and then play another episode and then pause for a couple of days I do that because I want to know what you guys think when you guys comment and I read all the comments even though there's not very many uh, when there is a comment I read it because <laughs> I want to know what um, I should be doing and sometimes I'll record a couple of episodes at a time and then um, and then sort of move on um, so for example if you watch something today I could have probably recorded that you know three four days ago so it doesn't always work that I um, get to see what you comment before I play another episode, but it it's close, it's close. Alright, so you have a skill. What's this? Morale when defending, give you more ammo because I like to have ammo which is here and you have some cav so let's give you one cav and more ammo and then next time we'll do the infantry one sweet do we want to spend any of our money before we I don't think I want to spend any of my money. I think I just want to save the money for that. OK. 
Okay, let's look at everything. So we're trading with the Geats. Uh, Venedians, they're not going to want to trade for a while, so I'm not even going to try it. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just do low. Once I get those gems gemstones, though, they'll be like, oh my goodness, you have gemstones? Sweet. I did I had no idea. So then they'll be like, here, we'll give you some copper for your gemstones. And I'll be like, no, it's actually... Um, gemstones are expensive, so you would have to give me an arm and a leg. And they'll be like, oh man. And then that's gonna be the end of the conversation really because I ran out of ideas not sure what else I would say I do appreciate you guys watching my content though I've, I say this once in a while um, you could be doing so many other things but instead you're here watching my little YouTube channel and supporting me and hopefully you can learn some stuff while you're watching uh, well, that's good believer Gundamar which one are you that dude okay uh, let's put you into. Okay, and you can be. I don't know. It could be here. Disembarking. Is there nothing else? Uh, what was I saying? Yeah. So hopefully you learned something from watching my content, and it's not just um. Rampage damage, attack against infantry. We'll leave him in in this for the armor. And it's not just, you know, blah, somebody else is playing more Total War. Uh, when I watch somebody else's content, I just kind of try to learn about the techniques and the um, sort of movements, uh, I should say, um, tactics or, or what have you uh, that somebody's using. Um, yeah, because, you know, you, you learn some things. Let's see if the Franks are friendly. Hello, Franks. You are friendly. Would you like to trade, please? Maybe you're de deteriorating. Oh, well, let's see. How about we... Non-aggression. You accept non-aggression. Good. Will you trade? Yes. Success. Who do you fight? Oh. Eastern Romans, Western Romans, Lazica, Novatia, Gaul. You fight everyone, I? No. Oh. I should be able to stay out of their way because I know they're technically they're going to be wanting to attack up here and stuff. Um, but yeah, um, I don't really care about Britain that much. If I'm friendly with the nations that are in Britain, I'll be fine. Um, yeah, what can I say? I kept talking about other, other campaigns that I could possibly be doing and not that I don't want to do them. There's just not enough time and I don't want to have too many things going on at the same time on the channel, but I want to have variety, which is the key to success from what I can find is I'm having a lot more success with my city building game uh, play uh, it's city skylines you know people are watching that more than they're watching my total war so I don't know if I'm doing better in that or it's just more of a popular game at the moment uh, one of those things something's happening but okay so I discovered the picks these are desolate lands um, let's go this way. There's a lot of desolate land. Right, so I've gained taxmen. <laughs> uh, people get so possessive about coins. They have many, they have my face on them after all. Oh, so he gets possessive. Because he has, I don't know. Anyway, so all provinces tax increase. Let's see what the uh, new encountered people were. Who are they? P 
picks. Picks are not friendly at all. Picks are with the Ab Abdonians and the Ca Caledonians together. Defensive allied with Hispania. Uh, wasn't the Franks were friendly with them? Okay, so I should leave them alone. Perhaps, perhaps the Picts will improve relations because of my relations with the Franks. This keeps saying, you know, improving. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. It doesn't seem like it's gone past. You know, it says next. Add it next a uh, uh, value eleven. I think last time it said seven or something. I don't know. Hasn't gone very far. All right, our armies. Where are they? Uh, you sir should be in. That doesn't seem like it mattered much. Uh, this guy is Rainier. He's not. Okay, he is out there, not part of our family. Gunther the governor. I kind of want to. Wolfguard, are you not? Okay, you're there. Uh, we're not going to change him. Who's this guy? Gundamar? And you. Okay, so we want to put these guys, you know, get them more involved so I'm not like super powerful because then I'm losing public order and growth. So we're going to use the army Rainier has, the Storm of Ibor, um, to in fact have this mission. Oh my goodness. Uh, hello. I've been paying for mercenaries. Alright, so let's do that. Let's put them over there. And we're gonna get rid of the mercenaries. Looks like we left one here. Bah. Alright, so the Wolves of War, which is our general and chief in command. Geiselher. Geiselher? Good. Good. Geiselher? I'm terrible with names and I think I'm butchering it on purpose and I'm not meaning to. Uh, he's gonna go into our capital and perhaps we can, you know, get some units. Um, I feel like I should get some units for uh, the purpose of just, just having more people. 213, 325. I could use some noble Germanic swordsmen for their health and armor. Mm, we have plenty of skirmishers, mounted brigands, warband. <laughs> Same speed. These guys have missile damage. These guys have more melee attack. All right, let's get a let's get a couple of these guys because they're cheaper per turn and maybe maybe we'll get some swordsmen some noble Germanic swordsmen so far our expedition towards the west with our navy is successful we made one friend uh, we found one hostile uh, nation and I'm thinking if I should go north and discover the other Britain tribes or go south and discover more of Gaul. I do intend to fight my way into Gaul so I don't think I'll find very many friendly faces there because they just they just know my intentions right they're like Err, I know what you're gonna be doing the hostage a boy taken as a hostage at an early age has adopted our way of life he is an excellent horseman and excels with bow and arrow what do you think 
what do you wish to do with him engage in faction politics I would say we should make him oh Jesus he's a hun um <laughs> take him hostage he's already hostage we can accept him uh, he will be a real asset although <sighs> we don't need him I think returning here's the thing you accept him he could be still in contact with his people and like do assassination attempts or something because uh, I'm skeptical like that taking him hostage would make the other people mad if I return him um, you know he could tell them all our secrets um, or I could just say I don't care I'll just I'll just yeah, dude, I'll just return in. Technically, I accept him, but I don't Ready really care for it. To um, come on, man, it's got to be a place for no, no. Uh, what am I talking about? We don't really take attrition anyway. Go back into this. Okay, so. I think I guess we lost a couple of dudes because of attrition. Right. Let's. Uh, 900. I have 16 units. Uh, we'll have one elite. Noble Germanic swordsman. Why not? I don't know why you're taking attrition, sir, because you are in the capital. We put some walls up. Alright. We'll, we'll, do, we'll deal with that in a bit. Uh, my navy. Where am I? I'm over there. Okay, so if I go down this way, I can discover a couple of tribes and then possibly come back up top. Um, let's look at the Franks again. They're the only ones that sort of cared about Britain at the moment, that from what I know. And there are... That's the trade partners, Saxons, and the elements. So if I piss off the Saxons, the Franks are going to come after me. The Saxons are allies with the Utes, the elements, and the Angles. Okay, so you know that whole thing about maybe me doing the whole bit and, and, and freeing the Danes? Uh, I might have to wait. <laughs> Because it looks like every everybody here will probably s start, you know. Sit, friend, and let us talk, and let us have good. And they're not really interested in alliances around, from what I can tell. I don't know why I'm losing uh, broken trees with the ruins. They don't like the gates. They think I'm a great power. Well, um... See, again. Anyway. It said 4 to 11, or it says 4 to 7 down at the bottom. But I guess total is 23, so it's... Okay. There's a good pork roasting for you. And better ale and mead set aside. That's not even them. Okay, so just one more time. Greetings. Now speak. To Got it. Let's see if we have any friendly faces down here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, it's the picks. <laughs> They're down in Bordigala. All right. So I don't know. Should I go into to, to Spain? I can. I guess I can. It is a expedition after all. Let's wait for winter to kill over or blow over. We'll continue our naval expedition at, at that time. Or while this goes. And then we might have enough money to go and take over the town with the gemstones. Yep. Which 
then we'll increase our trade because now we're trading gemstones so voila Uh, feel free to, at any time, comment, hit the like button, uh, share this out with your friends. We lost 12 men. Right. And 114 over there. I, don't, mm, I thought I was immune to attrition. The boy returns to his family. They are pleased and surprised at his return. As expected, his tales of your kindness with his family's favor. Huh? He's, I think there's a grammar error there. As expected, his tales of your family win, win his family's favor. Okay, I, I read it wrong. I, I, it's win. So we got some money. All right, we have 8,000. Uh, one more turn and that unit will be f fully recruited. Uh, apparently, I will move our navy again let's go to here those are the west romans right yeah how do they feel oh hispania they don't like me at all they're at war with the West Romans and the East Romans. The West Romans don't like me at all either. They don't like me that I have treaties with the Franks and everybody. Um, I guess. Yeah, uh, there's no chance there. Oh, excuse me, I'm yawning. I have more of a chance of, of becoming friends with the, with the Spanish if I was to befriend the Picts somehow, which are friends with the Franks, right? No, they're not. What? Alamans. They used to be friends with them. Oh, I guess they're friendly terms. Ah, so much going on. Right, let's look at what... Um, oh. Now I'm, I'm in a dilemma now. Do I spend 2500 to get units? Or do I go take that town over faster? I think I want to take the town over faster. Let's do... Our recruitment cost. Archery range. I'm guessing we're going to do the... Um, let's do that. Let's do this. We have two towns with ports. Oh, my friend Gunther, what's happening? Governor of our nation. Um, you shall... Oh, you got the corruption thingy. Let's... Let's do... Fatigue. And... What's this? Okay, we don't really need that. We could do this, armor equipment capacity. And then maybe work over here to get the public order bonuses. Sounds good. Ready for battle. Um, this guy also needs... Okay. Sir, you could use more... Cunning and more authority. Although, it would be nice to also have more ammo. Let's do authority. Make you more powerful. 
All right, I know I could spend money somewhere, but it's winter, and you know, even the chickens stay inside the pen in the winter. Yeah, you gotta make those eggs. Oh, do they do they lay eggs in the winter? Not sure if they do. But uh, maybe my generals will uh, have some babies. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, is that a thing? Does that work? Maybe. Maybe that works. Maybe it doesn't. More attrition! Okay, um... Seriously, I thought I was immune. 9,000... What the heck? Like seriously, come on. Uh, boats. Where are my boats? My boats over here. Where are you? Is it worth going southwards more? Let's go south one more time. I think it's more a Western Romans, really. More Western Romans. Oh no! I was meaning to press. It's fine. We'll be done with winter. <laughs> if I, if I hit that button, I was meaning to press the uh, map to see if if it shows any different colors down there than the Western Romans. And now my ships are taking attrition. So so sad. Too bad, so sad. Alright, attrition, attrition, attrition. Hostile governor, subject. Um, Roger, the local chieftain, detests you. He curses your ambitions, your mighty might, and mocks your manhood he makes it known to all that he should stand in your place engaging faction politics all right uh so this is the button i want to press it's like it's all western romans and hispanias over here so we can go back up we don't really care about um north africa at the moment uh and i doubt anybody would be super friendly with us on the mediterranean and that's not the button i want to press Okay, so let's go back. We are close to our episode's end. Uh, we don't have any winter anymore, so we should definitely wait for our um. Let's see, we have seventeen units. Why don't we give? Why don't we give one more of these guys over there? So, like that. Right. Next time we come back, um, we will be pretty much done with our uh, navy expedition. We just, I just want to discover this area to see what the Abdanians think of us, and. Then we will take over the um, region Duna and be able to sell some gems. Our armies should be full, fully replenished. Let's see what Roger has to say. Um, we can bribe him to shut up. We can discredit him. Um, <laughs> he dares to mock your manhood. Then let it be known. Who is the smaller man? We can assassinate him and do nothing. Uh, we can let the fool blather. What do you think? <laughs> Roast over the campfire. Jeez. 
Um, yeah, well, you know, no mocking. There will be no mocking here. We are the Burgundians. And I do appreciate you guys really for tuning in and watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. We had a successful Navy uh, mission that we made up our own. And um, it was fun. I had fun. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I want you guys to hit the like button if you enjoyed it and comment. Uh, you can also share this out with your friends if you think they would enjoy this sort of uh, gameplay. Um, what else? You can connect with me on Twitter. The My Twitter account is in the description of the video. There's also a link there for the mods I use. Um, not all those mods that are in there are active in the campaign, but there's just mods that I will use or have used uh, at one point or another. That's about it. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks again. Bye.